All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I'm going to give you five tips on why it's good to argue with your spouse. Stay tuned. So welcome back, family. So five tips on why it's good to argue with your spouse, at least sometimes. The very first reason is because you both feel heard. You both get to get the thing off of your chest that you need to get off of your chest. Now, you have to keep in mind that when I use the word argue, you guys know that I am not talking about arguing per se. I am talking about having an actual conversation, an intelligent conversation with your spouse about the very thing that you do not feel comfortable with for whatever reason. So again, you both will feel heard when you have an argument with each other or with your spouse. The second reason why it is good to argue with your spouse is because it lowers your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone levels, the stress chemical, right? So it lowers your stress chemical or cortisol levels and it also releases some of that built up tension that you had in your life. All right. So we get, we getting rid of it. We're not holding our shoulders up or thinking about it and um, getting headaches and all of this stuff. All of that stuff will be released when you argue with your spouse. All right. The third thing is that I know that this one is going to sound a little crazy. However, you and your partner will know that you're not afraid of each other. Some relationships, one of the parties in the relationship cannot express themselves. And in your relationship, you want to feel comfortable enough to be able to express what it is that you need to say. Right. And now think about arguing. It's not talking about all of the yelling, the screaming, the cursing, the name calling, being demeaning toward one another. That is not a, an effective way to argue. The effective way to argue is to be able to be respectful to one another, to be able to clearly get across your um, facts about the situation. So you want to stay away from the emotional side. You want to stay away from the pointing the finger side. You want to stay away from, I did this because you did. No, no, that's not the way to argue. That's not the way to argue, right? So again, the third reason is you two are not afraid of each other. And so you can come to one another and have an actual conversation with each other. All right. The fourth reason is because you two are constantly learning from one another and you will learn what it is about this particular subject and how your partner actually feels about it. And so you can see why it kind of went downhill. You can see why that conversation went downhill if you sit back relax and actually listen and take in the information that your partner is trying to give to you without being defensive because you really have to remember that during the course of the arguments even if the information is not um even if the information is not delivered well your partner actually means well even if it comes off kind of harsh Try to take away the fact of how they delivered the message to you and actually just pay attention to the actual message. They're bringing it up to you for a reason. Right? So you guys are constantly learning from one another. You guys are constantly growing with each other. So this is absolutely going to help you guys feel good about the relationship is actually going to build chemistry with one another. It can even raise your um, levels for, uh, well, not your levels. It can even raise your libido levels, right? So you guys can connect and you feel more intimate with one another. You feel like you understood your partner and your under and your partner has understood you. So you guys are constantly learning from one another. All right. And then the fifth reason why it's good to argue with your partner is because it helps each of you express the way that you feel about a particular issue again without being afraid you're not sitting on pins and needles when you're trying to deliver this message to your partner uh, a bonus thing that i want to throw in is do not during the course of an argument bring up any sensitive information that your partner has told you during a non-conflict conversation. 
That is not the time to throw a little dig in there and use whatever sensitive information that your partner gave to you during an, um, an actual civilized conversation moment. That's not the time. Actually, it's never the time. They actually told you the information in confidence. They told you because they trust you. They told you because they believe that you, yes, you, their partner, would not use this information against them. And so when you start digging and hitting below the belt, you are actually breaking down the trust in your relationship. So take these things into consideration. Incorporate them into your arguments and you will notice that your arguments are um, much better. You feel uh, like you can express yourself well and you don't feel nervous or scared about, you know, is this, is this person going to leave me if I express what I need to express to them? You want to be able to feel comfortable enough to say what you need to say to your partner, even if they do not like what you have to say, because sometimes we have to deliver that harsh information to our loved one. All right. Definitely give me thumbs up if you guys have liked this video. And of course, hit the red subscribe button if you have not already. As a lot of people that come to my channel will come to it more and more and more. And they still have not hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face. I want you to know that you can absolutely hit that here because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing that marriage. Rate. I will see you in the next video. Deuces.